Hi DIYers, Sterling with Alarm Grid here. Today we're going to show you how to find your panel's MAC and MAC CRC numbers. These are numbers that are required if you're going to have your system monitored by a company that offers AlarmNet monitoring services. Uh, we of course support the AlarmNet communicators with our no contract monitoring plans and if you sign up for one of our services on our website, one of the first things we're going to ask you in the back end programming section is for the MAC and the CRC numbers from your Wi-Fi or internet or cellular alarm communicator. There are four different communicators that you can use with this Lynx Touch L7000 panel. There's the L5100 Wi-Fi communicator, which is uh, aptly named as it's a Wi-Fi internet device. We have the ILP5, which is a hardwired internet communicator. You would actually have to run an ethernet cable from your panel back to your router. And then there are two different cellular units that work with this panel, the GSM VLP5-4G and the 4GL, which is now named the 3GL. Both of those communicators work and provide cellular communications to your Lynx Touch. You can combine the Wi-Fi with either cellular. If you do the ILP5, you cannot use the cellular. Any communicator that you choose, any combination that you choose, each device that you have active will have a Mac and a Mac CRC that Alarm Grid or any alarm company that you sign up with for monitoring will need to activate your device. So, one of the most common questions we get, especially when people sign up with us, is how do we get the Mac and CRC? We're going to show you now how to do it. It is displayed on the device itself on a sticker. It's also on a, uh, the box that the device comes in, but if your unit's already installed and you've thrown out the box and you don't want to pop the panel open to get that info, we're going to show you how you can extract that info right from the panel's programming. So we're going to jump into programming as we've shown you numerous times. It's security, more, and tools. And then from there, you have to enter your panel's installer code. 4112 is the default code and now we have the option to hit program to jump into the Lynx Touch system programming page. From here, Com Diagnostics takes us to some options for setting up the communications for the panel. If we hit the down arrow one time, we have what's called communication ID numbers. Perfect. Highlight it right at the top. We have our MAC address. In this case, we have a 4GL and an L5100 Wi-Fi installed in here. So you'll notice the top line shows a MAC address with a GSM in parentheses and a MAC address with a Wi-Fi in parentheses. On the second line, we have our MAC CRC. And again, it's a four-digit number with a GSM in parentheses and another four digit MAC CRC showing Wi-Fi in parentheses. You read this left to right and then over again left to right. So the GSM device, the MAC and the CRC, we have a 12 digit MAC, a four digit CRC. For the Wi-Fi, we have a 12 digit MAC and a four digit CRC. If you wanted to activate Wi-Fi and cellular communications, we need all four of these numbers. Every single MAC address will start 00, zero delta zero, two delta, and only the last six digits change. If you've ever provided someone with this Wi-Fi address, that's actually the MAC on the network. That is not the MAC we need uh, because the MAC that we're using to actually activate this device with AlarmNet are the ones at the top. So again, if you're signing up with monitoring for your Lynx Touch system and you're using Wi-Fi or cellular, this screen is where you will find the MAC in the CRC numbers that your monitoring company will need. We hope that you found this video to be helpful. We invite you to subscribe to our channel. And if you ever have any questions about where to find the Mac in the CRC or how to get monitoring for your Lynx Touch L7000 panel, please email us support at alarmgrid.com.